Today's video was brought to you by Vincero Watches. Stick around to the end of the video for a special offer. Hey, brother! And welcome to another edition of Fast Facts. Today we're going to be talking about The Lion King. So here we go. The Lion King was directed by Roger Allers and Rob Minkoff in 1994 and marked the fifth movie of the Disney Renaissance which spanned from 1989 to 1999. It held the record for the highest grossing animated film ever until being dethroned in 2010 by Toy Story 3 which would then quickly be defeated by Frozen in 2013. And since then things have gotten kind of crazy, turns out people like animated movies. But that said, Lion King still holds the record for 2D animated movies unless you account for inflation in which case Snow White beats everything including Frozen. The Lion King marks Jonathan Taylor Thomas' film debut and Matthew Broderick's voice acting debut. The movie was initially given to Disney's B team while the A team worked on Pocahontas, which they anticipated to be a huge critical success, but they ultimately ended up swapping places at the box office. Scar and Mufasa's appearance is so drastically different because initially they were not intended to be brothers. Mufasa's death is considered one of the saddest deaths in Disney history, but it was actually originally even more gut-wrenching, to the point where children in test audiences would begin crying uncontrollably. When Shere Khan falls to his death in the live-action Jungle Book, it is a near-identical scene to Mufasa being thrown into the stampede. As a form of foreshadowing to his villainous nature, Scar is the only lion whose claws can be seen at all times. Also, fun fact, a headdress resembling Scar can be seen in Hercules. Simba's story, the tale of an exiled prince who is mentored by the ghost of his dead father and returns to challenge his murderer, is inspired by Shakespeare's Hamlet. The Lion King is the best-selling home video of all time, with 50 55 million copies sold. So several characters have names based on Swahili words. Simba means lion, Nala, gift, Sarabi, mirage, Rafiki means friend, Pumba, simpleton, and Shenzi means savage. Also, according to Timon in Lion King 3, Shenzi's full name is Shenzi Marie Predatora Valdita Jacqueline Hyena? I think? Shockingly, Disney initially decided against including Can You Feel the Love Tonight, but after a sneak peek of the movie, Elton John convinced them to re-add it, and it went on to win an Academy Award for Best Original Song. Hakuna Matata includes a verse that explains how Pumbaa came to embrace his worry-free lifestyle. Timon's backstory had been included in the original version, but didn't make it into the final cut. On that note, Pumbaa became the first ever Disney character to, well, he, uh... While Timon and Pumbaa may seem like an odd pair, meerkats and warthogs actually have a symbiotic relationship in the wild, where meerkats will eat fleas and ticks off the warthog's back. Slimy yet satisfying. Satisfying indeed, as is spotting the hidden Mickey on one of the bugs under the log Timon pulls up. Towards the end of the movie, after Simba defeats Scar, you can see Zazu's mouth move, but there is no sound. He was supposed to say, your majesty, but the audio was left out. And I will tell you what, as a kid, I noticed this and it drove me crazy. Interestingly, not a single lion roar throughout the movie is the sound of an actual lion roaring. It's a blend of tiger roars, which are generally more impressive than lion roars, and voice actor Frank Welker doing sheer magic with a trash can. Just, just watch. <laughs> Nailed it again. Speaking of impressive actors though, Jeremy Irons, who delivers an absolutely spectacular performance as Scar, actually threw out his voice during Be Prepared, performing this line. You won't get a sniff without me! And the final third of the song is actually sung by Jim Cummings, who also voices the hyena, Ed. Also, the hyena's goose stepping in front of Scar during Be Prepared is intended to resemble Hitler and the Nuremberg rallies. Also, on the note of the hyenas, Scar's minions were originally going to be cape dogs, but they decided against this because they are on the endangered species list, and hyenas are pretty much the natural enemy of everything anyway. Unlike how they are portrayed in the movie, however, real hyenas are actually very smart, and lions scavenge off of them as much they do lions. When Nala pins Simba in the jungle after years of of exile, this is not only a fun way for us, the audience, to recognize the maneuvers she pulled on him when they were cubs, but also sets up the reversal Simba ultimately uses to defeat Scar. Also kind of fun, if you listen really carefully while Zazu is talking to young Simba and Nala, their future romance is ever so slightly foreshadowed by a soft version of Can You Feel the Love Tonight playing in the background. 
take a listen. Little seeds of romance blossoming in the savannah. Your parents will be thrilled. What with your being betrothed and all? Be what? Betrothed. Moving on, one of the more impressive technical achievements of The Lion King was its use of, wait for it, dust. No, not that dust. That's merely hand-drawn dust. This dust. And the things making the dust. The wildebeest are entirely 3D animated. Creating such a massive herd of creatures that could all move in believable manner was immensely challenging to put together, and its execution was essential for bringing us, the audience, into the stressful chaos that was the stampede. But the dust was even more important and impressive as it involved many different layers of opacity and doesn't take a specific shape. It's an effect that couldn't be accomplished with the traditional hand-drawn animation and marks the first time real dust was used in a Disney film, which was critical in setting the tone for this iconic scene. Oh, and also, it took three years to figure it out. But then, just a brief 25 years later, after this iconic dust, Disney has reimagined the film where not just the dust, but every single element of the movie will be featured in digital animation. And finally, some theorists believe that Simba's roar at the end of the film that seemingly returns the Pride Lands to a lively ecosystem is a reference to the importance of apex predators to the food chain. The wolves that were reintroduced to Yellowstone Natural Park serve as a great real-world example, and if you'd like to see more information on that, you can check it out by clicking the card. Guys, I want to give a huge thank you to today's sponsor, Vincero Watches. Vincero has been a great supporter of the channel for some time now, and in that tenure, I have learned one thing. I absolutely love slow motion shots of me wearing watches. I mean, just look at this. How cool! So slow! You guys should seriously try it sometime. It's so fun! But also, I just love the watches themselves. I've actually developed, like, quite the collection of them over the past several months, but my current favorite is the Rose Gold Chrono. Honestly, the watches are absolutely stunning, and the quality is spectacular. Just as a human being, I am a particularly clumsy person who runs into everything, and these things are totally Ben-proof, which just means they have a fancy sapphire mineral glass coating. And better yet, they have a great selection of both men's and women's watches available. And bonus, you can get 15% off your entire order by going to vincerowatches.com slash SCB and use promo code SCB at checkout. And as always, free shipping on every order. Or if you've already got a watch, be sure to check out the line of sunglasses that they've just released. I am currently wearing the matte tortoise and I love them. The polarization is incredible. They're super comfortable. And honestly, they just like, I don't know how to describe it. They just feel nice. I know that's kind of a weird description, but it is true. Again, if you want to get 15% off your entire order, go to vincerowatches.com slash SCB. Use promo code SCB at checkout. Link is in the description down below. But guys, for my question of the day, what do you think about the live action remake of The Lion King? Are you excited for it? Have you seen it yet? Be sure to let me know all of your thoughts in the towel section down below. But guys, as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you'd like to see some more Lion King action from us, you can check out this video right here to have Simba's magic roar explained, or this video to figure out why Scar is the best Disney villain of all time. But Jay, that's all I've got for you today, man. I will see you on Tuesday.